Hall Effect Keyboard's technology has clearly surpassed that of your traditional mechanical keyboard, but there's still a lot to be desired in terms of the stock feel and sound. So in this video, we'll take a look at the top 5 switches to upgrade your Hall Effect keyboard with. A quick disclaimer, these switches will only work with booting and similar boards. If you own a Hall Effect board from brands like Varmelo, Everglide, or Nufi, these switches will also be compatible. For your convenience, a compatibility spreadsheet is linked in the description below. So the WS Dashes are my pick for the best clacky Hall Effect switch. They completely fix that weird, rattly, scrunchy sound you get with stock Liker switches. Thanks to their sealed bottom housing, you're getting this clean, satisfying clack when you bottom out. In terms of feel, they're buttery smooth out of the box with a 55 gram bottom out force. You might have heard of the Gateron Magnetic Jades before, and these dashes are exactly the same as them, but they're only different in two ways. For one, the stem on these is purple, and for two, you can grab the dashes for 75 cents a switch, exclusively a milk tooth, where you get free shipping on orders over $49, while the Jades will run you about 80 cents pretty much everywhere else. Now, here's the sound test. The Everglide Sticky Rice V2s feature the same sealed bottom design as the dashes, but aim for a deeper, thockier sound profile. They stand out with their dustproof stem design that reduces wobble, and include an RGB diffuser that significantly enhances lighting effects. With excellent factory lubing, and a more budget-friendly price point at $0.68 cents per switch from Milktooth, these switches deliver a remarkably smooth typing experience. Take a listen to how these sound. The TTC Magnetos are the most premium Hall Effect switches out there. For one, these have the longest springs out of any Hall Effect switch currently on the market. There are two pros to this. Firstly, a longer spring makes the typing experience feel more bouncy and responsive. Second, a longer spring provides consistent resistance throughout the entire keystroke, maintaining even tension whether you're at the beginning or end of the key press. Moreover, there's a dustproof stem for minimal stem wobble. These easily feel the most rigid out of all the switches on this list today. Lastly, in terms of sound, these are rather bright. While these usually go for more than a dollar per switch at other retailers, at Milktooth, we offer these for 27% off at 80 cents per switch. Now, here's the sound test. The Gateron Magnetic Jade Pros are the marbliest sounding Hall effect switches on the market. For context, I think that some Hall Effect switches, like the default lacquers on a wooting, can have a somewhat scattered sound profile. In contrast, these Magnetic Jade Pro switches offer a more focused, concentrated sound. It's similar to the way a magnifying glass concentrates light, but in this case, it's the sound that's being focused, which ends up sounding super marbly. Another pro of these Magnetic Jade Pros is that they emit RGB really well, like it's noticeably brighter than most other Hall Effect switches out there. It's worth pausing here to mention the main differences between these pros and the WS Dashes and Magnetic Jades, considering they're all made by Gateron. I noticed three main differences with the Pro version. For one, the Pros are a little heavier at 36 grams compared to the Jades and Dashes, 30 grams. Secondly, and relatedly, the Pros feel a bit more generously lubed than the Dashes and jades, which makes the pros feel smoother. And lastly, in my view, the sound is even more marbly with the pros. This makes the pros a little pricier at 80 cents per switch, as opposed to 75 cents for the dashes. In short, if you're okay with the heavier type feel in exchange for something smoother, the pros are well worth it. Now, here's the sound test. The Everglide Masters represent pretty much everything I like about the Gateron Magnetic Jade Pros, but at a fraction of the price. Instead of being 80 cents per switch, these are 60 cents per switch, exclusively on Milktooth. The two switches' stats are pretty much identical. The Masters are 1 gram lighter, but everything else, from the travel distance to the material blend, is the same. These are also generously lubed, which is to say the Masters feel just as smooth and sound just as marbly as the Magnetic Jade Pros do. While I appreciate the Pros' sound, feel, and performance, their price point might be a bit high for some. The Masters' 60 cent price point offers a more accessible alternative without compromises. Needless to say, I'm a big fan of these. Take a listen to how they sound. Now, here are back-to-back -back sound tests of the switches we covered today.
Honestly, this was a hard video to make because I had to leave quite a few great options off the table. So I think I'll do another video in the future where I compare and contrast all Hall effect switches. Once I've done so, I'll leave it here for you for reference. But if you want to watch a deep dive on just the WS Dash and Sticky Rices, which are the OG enthusiast grade Hall effect switches, make sure to watch this video here. For now, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.